All right, welcome back to the boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. Today, we're going to be showing you um, my first playthrough of Walking Dead. I played this over on Twitch first. So, base liked it so much over there, we decided to bring it over here to the gaming channel. Now, Everything I play on Twitch isn't gonna make it to the gaming channel. This is one of the um ones we thought y'all would like though. Um, but if you ever want to join in with me over on Twitch, play some of the games I'm playing, um, just go over there and follow. We go I'm trying to go live on there Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I'm trying to get that schedule. If I don't do it, make it during the week, I'm always there on the weekend. But um, I had a blast playing this. I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, but with all that being said, I'm ready to get into this. If I see you on the other side. Let's get it. Yeah, I don't want to smell the movies either. My imagination will be having me thinking I smell shit already. Damn, we starting out with a black man in handcuffs? God damn. What we do already? Is this Belfry? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy. Oh yeah, I'll be trash at this. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trials. Appreciate the there. follow. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once he, he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. he was an older fellow big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses and he just wailing back there says it wasn't him crying Let's cuss him out he ain't cuss him out over right where you're sitting then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane not tell him he's got to stop but that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, Appreciate this, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? Well, we four away from go. 
They caught the fucker right Hell yeah. Here, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. What's up, Swash? I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit Hey, bro, you about to hit a motherfucker, bro. Right hey, bro, hey, bro. This other time... Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to be trash at this. I can see this now. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Need to drag myself out that window. Bruh, fuck this shit. This shit about to be scary, ain't it? carry with these cuffs off. He fucked up, ain't he? Looks empty. Fucking shell. Easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? God damn. Are oh, you saying God damn it can't say fuck you? They're fuckers. <gasps> hey, bruh. You, you're doing too much. You got one hand free. That's all you need. Get away from 
me! Burn! Hey, tell me after I get scared, I'm gonna get jump scared. Hey man, what the fuck is that right there? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Breath out. There's been a shooting. You the one shot him. Ah! Question. I don't know. I want. I want to ask right now. Market. Hello? Anybody? I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Just go for a dip. Hey, bro, you saying crazy shit? I wonder if anybody's home. in don't shoot okay ah, hello I'm not an intruder or one of them <laughs> hell no we would be in here fuck that ain't no fucking way
Hey man, shut the fuck up, man. What's that beeping? Hey, bro, you just gonna drink somebody else's drink? You don't even know who, who's drinking it on that. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. I ain't got no cookies and shit. There are three new messages. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel. Hey, man. So we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's oh, he not gone. He got bit. to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh, my God, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. Hey, she's yes. grown as fuck for eight. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Making all the cookies disappear. Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> Ooh, bitch! <laughs> the fuck am I supposed to do?
now, bitch. Mm. What side? Damn, she is thin. Man. Hey. <laughs> Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. I mean, she I pulled up with a hammer though. There. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. So... It's like... Kidnapping? What if our parents come home? Would they be like, this is kidnapping? Oh, little girl. I don't. Only got one leg. You done run out the screen and shit, girl. Calm down. Never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Oh, yeah, I heard it. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. Clementine. How about you help us clear? Hey, man, who was that used to say about Clementine? Out of here and down to like, the oh, my oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Dr. Barry Hill. Okay, yeah, that's it. What that's do you it. Do? I... The monsters come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. I ain't the fat boy pushing. Got this little girl out here pushing his damn car. Babysitters go. I'd say her parents owe you a tip.
Also, she gonna be like with me the whole time. Where the fuck are y'all taking us? Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Save a life and responsible for that life. See, I don't, I don't think that should be in the rule book. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to afford hey. this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. They ain't give me enough time to make Dad, decisions. I'm I'm Lee, <laughs> I got to think too fast. Out. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do Night, it. night, baby really. Joe. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. But if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. Well, girl, there's zombies out there. There's a it's whole lot of things worse than testing. I bet, Clem. How 
far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Didn't I see somebody up here on this thing right here, though? <laughs> Wonder somebody up there. Hey, get up. <sighs> well, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can hey, he do it heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, how he had enough time to tell her about shit. It's easy. Well, yeah. So you're good. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? We well, used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? 
Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots. Still make the National games. Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Well, I'm never even watching what we Wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. I probably should ask that. Is this got anything like? Is this guys spoiler for the show? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own. Alright, bet. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon her. Appreciate that proof. We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Like that, all right. That little walk icon. How do I get the? I can just pull that out anytime, or it just reminded me. Can't go in the house. You don't see the little walkie talkies? Right there. Just say. Okay, that's all that is. Just show me what I have on me. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Dad's been asking me to haul that stuff to the dump for weeks. Glad I didn't. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. He doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Happy I'm playing this. Shot him right in the face. I ain't gonna lie, I'm nervous playing it. Appreciate the follow. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. 
That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Hey, Lee. I'm gonna go, uh, check on the others. Whatever you want, man. How you do- Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! The fuck? I'll get my gun! Shut the fuck up. Hey, bro. That's fucked up. Fucked up. Get out. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, he can say fuck, but I can say it. could help them both look at him you thought wrong and now please just go get out and never come back
got that ride to make it if you want it. Hey, right, bro, we could say both of them. Oh, it's like real life. Well, you can't be killing babies. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. So fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. If I do it with one of the other, I probably would save those dude though. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! And this is thriller. Thriller. Yeah, no. yeah. I about to say I saved this little boy. He got eight anyway. shut no matter what I fucking mean it we don't know who these people are it could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity we have kids with us I see one little girl what is it I, I have to pee I'd go out there again in a second I bet you would in a minute Clem They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's hey, the leader here. Hey, bro. It looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let some hey, of the bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him up. Hey, bro. Smash his head. No in. bite, Nat. No, it's a little fucking dog, girl. Go pee. Hey, go, hey. Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. I it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna stop being nice. Ass boy. This nice shit ain't working out for me. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then... When she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? 
Well, come on. You better have like, fuck now. Me, though, because it's me. It wasn't fucked the cop a minute ago. Don't say it now. Bro, you are a terrible bodyguard. Motherfucker! Appreciate you. You okay? Just great, thanks. Hey, shit. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. You better get in. Shut up. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. What? My ass can we kill? We didn't follow. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. <laughs> Should have been talking that shit. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully. You won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like I ain't trying to tap nobody's pockets. You got it, boss. Now He's not yet. Those pills. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. We'll sit tight. Okay. The pills are in there. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... 
I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Hey, man, this is an awkward conversation, yep. man. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? <laughs> now your dad's an asshole. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. I don't know where we at. I'm Let's fine. See. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. We're at 97 now, I think. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Appreciate the follow. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah. Bro, you're dying. What are you? Hey, Shut up. The... Yeah. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell. Well, he seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. It's like a Saturday night back home. We need to stick together At the club. through this. I'm gonna get back to him. So and I'm a bunch of crackheads. That's called the borderline. <laughs> Look down, down, do your thing, do your thing. <laughs> Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. 
Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Hey, man. Do you have kids? I don't know what kind of little kid should she believe in to say, I think this is going to be okay. But. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. What's up, Floyd? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Say why? I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? That's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've I ain't gonna lie, the game crashed, I'll cut it off. Try that way. Just because I'm still mad over Bioshock. shot. Okay, thanks for fixing it. Everyone out there 
would seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. anything? No, nothing. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Man, how she just gonna tell me about me like that? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. the remote to my dad's TV. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Fun, little something. girl. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? He was trying to eat my wife. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen, or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Hey, 
Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the Hey, what's that? Ain't my wife. This is Lee. What's so his wife? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Where's she at? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Heard or seen any? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure, uh, let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. You did say that like she was a pet, though. Jesus. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. They got that daddy rat special. We better keep it down out of here. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of you? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. Right. Hey, they, they got the day rest special, girl. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Let's head back inside. Okay. No 
No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. I think. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hun. I don't remember them very well. Haley, you really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How is she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. I mean, I saved the little boy. boy. You, you had enough we time to save him. Together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make it off running the other way. Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. I'm saying, I saved your son. You could have saved his. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest say i won't be trying to convince somebody shit and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. The 
far. Okay, this is the plan. You don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's far enough. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. See, now tripping. Where to next? We can probably make it over to the RV or down to the truck and quick and quiet about it. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply guy. I might have an idea for it. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. I can't go nowhere with this thing. What the f? I'll cover you if you sneak over to the RV. If we're gonna kill all these guys, we're going to have to sneak around. I don't want to sneak over to the RV. Old problem. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age old problem. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't like nothing about this shit.
You bust the windshield with that. Scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, he whistled for him? you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. See, I don't like no, see, they doing, he, he doing some hero shit. I don't like this shit. I am not about that life. Open up, it's the police. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Out. 
You're hurt. Oh God. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's her for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. Well, why why are you open the door? You can just be like, I'm bit. You get sick and you die and and you Oh you trifling ass bitch. You have a boyfriend? Lynn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you no. mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're. Satanic. How did they chop her head off? Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her. Help her out here. It'd be the gun. Just take this thing. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. To go on. Okay. Hey, bro, I am not a hero. Stop this shit, bro. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's just one bullet. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Motherfucker. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. How are we doing? Better get back to getting this guy's medicine. Mm. Take your time.
Go outside. The fuck. Do I really gotta go outside or y'all just telling me to go outside? How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. safe here. Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. Why are we looking at his dick? Doc, and it locks up well. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? No, we gotta keep looking around. It's a combination lock. Motherfucker. I can't reach that brick. I don't know if I really gotta come out this gate or y'all just telling me that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. See? You tell me no. Shut the fuck up. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all cheat up and shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Well, it would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here. Hey, he was, hey bro, this is a horrible ankle, man. I'll see what I can find. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get Hey, man, it's the worst, man. Just think of balls in the camera. Nah, just a few seconds. Like, I don't even like the fact that his dick is that close to his face. Distract him and buy you some time. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Carefully. We 
should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Seconds of searching him, we'll know if he has the keys. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Man, he is doing bad, man. You see his tongue? I got an idea. Got it. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power. Right, you do not know a program code just like that. You can just do that. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well, fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Now we have a conversation with him. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. And there ain't no time for no heart to heart. He's gone. Bro, just pop him in the fucking head, bro. You over there traumatizing yourself and shit. This little yeah. Finally reunited with your brother. Hey, Xbox ain't shit. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Fofo -fo gang. Are y'all gonna tear them down? Fuck with the gate. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Oh, 
Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. So, don't nothing else work, but the fucking alarm works. They got their money's worth. Damn, you got a screwdriver, ain't no show. He's gonna walk it off, okay? I see you, girl! See you! I see you got your Sunday's best on, looking good, girl. What's your name? Hey, girl. I like the way you smile. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. What up, Bubba? I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan Let's find find you a stepmom. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got to cross town for that beat. That's funny as hell. Make sure our defenses stay up till then. Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Uh, let's watch it. Bruh, hold on, bruh. This is slow down. I'm saving them all with the gun. This is You ain't gotta worry about coming back. You're gone. You gotta move. Uh, uh. Oh. Sorry, babe. I apologize. Please tell me I gotta fuck that old man up. Why did I waste my time saving his life? I got so much more shit I want to say, but I can't say it.
Hey, go ahead. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I played the whole episode. Whole episode though. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Oh, he just back there chilling and I whooped his ass? Hold on. Time out, bro. Hold on. What the fat motherfucker sitting on the fucking corner of the wall somewhere? Oh, the game. <laughs> hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each What's other. What's up, Bubba? Yeah, we do. Hey, what are you doing? about Clementine? Yeah. Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. I bet who was talking that much? Is that duck? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't. Hey man, he's air fucking the shit out of her. God, could we? Oh. I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a. It's just that I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway. I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. You had a gun? I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Bro, Duck gotta be tired as much as he fucking talking. You fucking bitch. You lucky this game won't let me whoop your fucking ass. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh... You want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how Girl, you're eight years old in Sami Pockles. Girl, you are good. And you can cry. Gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. 
I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Here, let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. Bro, part two of my kills is about to start right here. To you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee? Do you have a second? I'm gonna fuck your daddy up. My dad Just letting you know. Dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. Uh, I don't know. Why the music switch? We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. You could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. What would you say? Huh? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! Yeah! Ah! Man, I ain't going into my phone. Even back at the drugstore, whenever we thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. What's it happening? No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> That's the whole thing. So how many episodes is it? So it's five episodes on this one. How many episodes are on like season two, two or three? How many episodes in the total? Even have five episodes. All right, bet. Yeah, that could do that. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all.
Oh, yeah. That's not bad at all. I played that a whole lot longer than I was expected to. And this is 2012, 2014? Damn, was that long ago? You used to wait a month or two between two episodes? Oh yeah, so I'll probably play the next next episode on the next stream then. I ain't gonna lie, I like that a whole lot more than I thought I would. I'm still mad they won't let me whip that old man's ass. I should have been bunny hopping on his fucking face. Bro, go quit fighting it, bro. Just, just lay down. You are melting away. See, I ain't never watched the show. Um, I'm going to say probably not because, honestly, I did not record that first episode. I didn't even think about recording. I could go back and play and play all to do do all the same decisions. No, so, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I could do that. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could export that from Twitch. Okay. Well, I may try that. You know what I'm saying? You was behind my decision to humble switch. Um, sent squash. That's what's up. Man, Drogo just ain't here judge me. It's almost Drogo's birthday. It'd be Drogo's birthday in 11 minutes. Tell Bubba, you're going to be 10. A big boy. Yeah, he's going to be 10. Yeah, we're going to have steak for our birthday, ain't we? I cannot believe this man is going to be 10. Like, I remember when he was little, little, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when he used to go poop, 
He'll walk around the circle and take three steps back. No, man. Greatly appreciate the sub, Kenny. Yeah, Drago been around that long. And that's why I won't watch no sad dog movies. Hey, bro, that's awesome. We are three subs away from our hundred um hundred sub ago. That is fucking awesome. The little pups eleven. Yeah, I'll probably get on stream tomorrow night. You know what I'm saying? I greatly appreciate the two gifted subs. We're now one away. Oh, should we? Should. Greatly appreciate the gifted sub again. We, we have now hit our goal. Hey, appreciate the hell out of that. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah, I would never say I'm glad to watch Marley and me. Uh-uh. I'm never going to do it. Um, More than likely, I'll play another episode next stream. If I don't, like, more likely we'll be playing, like, Uno or something. But... The Walking Dead, where I, I got the three seasons or whatever, I'll be knocking out episodes like regularly for a little bit. Hey, I'm glad you've been enjoying them. Hey, they've been fun, though. They've been a lot of fun. I don't know why you fight your sleep. You sitting there judge me? What, Bubba? You want to cover? And that bus just finally went back by. Yeah, he's trying to make it to his birthday, but it ain't going to last, but I just threw that cover on him. He better be asleep. Unless something makes a loud noise, he be asleep. I don't know. I don't know if somebody was driving and they came by to say what's up to somebody or whatever. I don't know. I like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but where I live at, like, you know I'm saying? You have to deliberately be coming here or lost. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, the three ways to get here, you got to be looking for them. Especially at nighttime. Um, I don't know exactly when the music channel is coming, but I do know it's coming this year. Um, I'm honestly looking forward to that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. That's funny. Yeah, man, the, our Discord links inspire all the time. That's why, like, if you ever need one, just let us know. And I'll get somebody dropping in the stream or leave a comment on a movie. And we'll post, um, send you one. But yeah. 
Um, can somebody please put the Discord link in the stream for us, please? Oh, Trey got it. Trey and Pop got it. Herbals, I've tried to sell them to never expire. I've, I've tried a bunch of times to sell them and never expire. But, um, they just, they keep going. They keep doing it. Like, like, and, and it, when I back out, you know what I'm saying? I'll back out and back back in. And it says, don't expire. And then we get a comment, hey, the link ain't working. It says it expired. So. Yeah, I'm really it, it's that's why that's why we just been telling people like you know what I'm saying? Let us know we'll send you one. Hey, greatly appreciate the sub. We're now one over go. That's awesome. And we've got 101 subs in like a week. Like exactly a week. It's got a hype train. <laughs> you got to watch 101 Dalmatians. Hey, I do want to watch the, um, um, the movie Cruella with Emma Stone in it. I do want to watch the shit out of that. Yeah, I heard she kills Cruella. I want. I want to see the hell out of that. I never heard of it. I've never seen any of Goosebumps. I love Super Bad. Super Bad for the too. Um, don't he'll help us the um the fuck out of her. Like, yeah. Yeah, he got the cover. He's sleeping. Shit. Yeah, I'm just I'm just waiting till his birthday, but then I'm gonna get off here. It's all the early night because we've been on here for what hell, right at four hours. Um, I think the the Army of Darkness movie is coming. Pretty soon. I know um, Anchorman is coming Monday. Joey, you put yourself in the corner. Hey, man, listen. Y'all do not understand how sad I was to hear her say it smelled like Bigfoot's dick. Of all the random shit I say shit smell like, I am so fucking sad that I never thought of that. 
Appreciate that, Kenny. But yeah, I'm telling you, I'm I'm sad as fuck. I never thought of that shit. But I honestly, a lot of shit smell like a lot of shit. But Bigfoot's dick, hey, that's an elite level. Grogo, they telling you happy birthday. He, he under the cover. He sleep. But, um. Yeah, we, um. He got a new toy coming, which he ain't going to play with because it's not a plastic bottle, so he's not going to play with it. But he got a new one coming. Um, I'm going to take him for a good walk tomorrow. He's going to have steak for dinner. Um, I try to get him a, a puppy cake, but they was backed up, so they didn't have time to make it. So I'm probably getting one next week sometime. Yeah, I'm I'm getting off here. I'm about to, I'm about to hey appreciate the um the sub. We're now at 102, 100. Appreciate the hell out of that. Now I see that like I wish I still had that picture of it. It's a it's a puppy cake. It's they shape it in a bone, but basically it's like peanut butter and Hey, appreciate the 10. Get the subs, Kenny. No, he can't play with the Funko figures. No, he he, know, he knows better than mess with them. Appreciate the hell out of that, Kenny. Shit, what we at, like 112 now? Sure. Any come in at the end of the stream dropping gifts. Hey, bro, appreciate the hell out of that. But yeah. I'm going to get off here, though. I will be back tomorrow night. I'll try to do it about the same time I did it tonight. Um, around about 8. So it'll be a little early. Um... If it ain't eight, if I don't post it, post and say eight, it'd probably be about nine. But I'll I'll definitely be on here. Oh. All right, I'll check it out. And um, Trey, I'll be hit you up here in a little bit. But y'all be good. Hey, appreciate the gift the subs and everything. Appreciate the subs. Appreciate the follows. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Thank y'all for telling Drogo birthday. Well, happy birthday and stuff. But y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night.